Hello and welcome to Spot Vibes on DNT Work. This is that channel where you don't just get sport updates, but you also get to learn life lessons from the world of sports. My name is Bolaji Alimidi Sport Pilot, and I'm your host yet again. I have the privilege of navigating you through the ever buzzing and entertaining world of sports. So stay tuned and get set for this ride. So it's the football season definitely in the world of sports. We want to talk about a lot of leagues in Europe. Top flight leagues kick starting already, some in my day two, some in my day three already. And that is uh, so with the Premier League because now my day three is done and dusted by now. And of course, one of the most surprising results we saw over the weekend was the upset of Premier League contenders Chelsea at Leeds United. Uh, maybe some might have predicted uh, a draw for Chelsea due to the fact that Elland Road, which is Leeds United Stadium, is a very tough place to go. But I don't think anyone really saw that coming. And even the most optimistic of Leeds United fans would not have predicted a scoreline as huge as 3-0 in favour of Leeds United against a big, big uh, team like Chelsea. So there are a lot of reactions, a lot of details to this, how that there was a red card, a lot of things to talk about. But we'll go straight to the point and you know, we just extract our lessons from this very, very entertaining, exciting match that happened over the weekend. So a bit of background now, Leeds United over the summer during the transfer window, of course the transfer window is still open for uh, teams to do business, late business, some of them panic buys by now and some to finish up deals that has been on stagnation for a long time. But the, uh, the point we're trying to make is that Rafinha and um, Calvin Phillips, these were guys that were so crucial for Leeds United last season. Of course, Phillips was injured at some point in the season, but Rafinha, a great, great player, lost to Barcelona over the summer. Uh, when this happened, quite a number of teams, quite a number of pundits, sport lovers felt like Leeds just managed to stay up last season to avoid relegation with Rafinha and Phillips in the team. And this time around without these two key men, how do they survive this season? Remember, this is just their second full season in the top flight after several years of trying to come from um, the championship to the Premier League. And now that they're in the Premier League, of course, the main target is to first stabilize yourself as a team in the Premier League. I'm laying all this foundation because in comparison to Chelsea, uh, the, the, the golf in class is so huge. And that is what makes the victory uh, to Leeds United so, so crucial. You know, for their fans, for what they've been doing, because they did not just lose those two players without doing anything on their own part. After losing those two key players, they went ahead and invested the money, even adding more to get several other players away. Equally good by some standard. And this has definitely improved their team, their style of play, and the way they are coming up together as a cohesive unit. So, of course, you want to talk about the fact that uh, a lot of things were not on Chelsea's side during the day. Uh, the coach Thomas Tuchel was talking about the fact that all that could go wrong went wrong for the team and he even had to take a bus instead of flying a plane back home after the match but all that is by the way what is the lesson we're picking first and foremost from this drama that happened over the weekend in the English Premier League it is the fact that regardless of how precious something you've lost is that is not the end of the world you can always make up for whatever you have lost God is a God of restoration and many times no matter how dear, how precious those things were, if you wait on God, if you trust God enough, uh, it will definitely restore you in multiple fold. Uh, you know, it is character, talking about God the Almighty now, to restore us, not just to restore what we lost exactly, but to restore something even greater to us to make sure that we have double for shame. And another um, lesson I'd like us to extract from that, uh, which will uh, most likely be our final one on the show this week, is the fact that uh, I think that is more obvious. We want to talk about the fact that many people didn't give Leeds United a chance. Come on, you want to talk about a team that Chelsea defeated home and away last season. It took a dime minute uh, jogging your penalty in the first leg. But the second leg was much more straightforward for Chelsea to defeat uh, Leeds United last season. So it was a double that Chelsea did. A lot of foundation, a lot of preview to this match just um, centered around Chelsea uh, cruising to victory or just ensuring they get victory. Maybe not cruising because we've seen Leeds United show the stuff they've made of so far too in one match or the other this season. All we are saying is that nobody really gave them a chance save for their fans and optimistic ones or neutrals that just wanted to see 
uh, an entertaining match, really. So uh, Leeds United did, uh, did not despise themselves, and that is one point we should note. Leeds United did not despise themselves. Uh, regardless of the capacity people think they have on the outside, they believed on what they have and they went toe to toe with a very, very big team, a team of champions you want to talk about front to back. This is a team that just won the Champions League two seasons ago, won several competitions, a very, very quality team with a very, very high class coach. They didn't see themselves being defeated even before the match because your thoughts before approaching any battle determines the outcome really. If you have lost in your mind, there is no how you are definitely going to win when the match begins or whatever challenge you're facing so it's important we do not lose in our minds so uh it's a good point for them and one more thing we may mention before we wrap up the show is the fact that they capitalize on their strength a lot of people a lot of teams know going to Ellen road is not a mean feat uh in spite of the fact that they are not the big big club yet in the premier league you know just getting promotion regardless of how optimistic or how promising you look as a team you still need to climb up the ladder you don't jump up so uh Leeds United still trying to climb their way up up the table they still considered as a team maybe striving for survival every season uh, of course we've seen teams like Sheffield United do that in the past and quite a number of teams upset the odds to just ensure they finish far above uh, or to say they punch far above their weight but this time around Leeds United just taking every team a step at a time and definitely this is a very very good step in the right direction for them these will lift the mood with the fans a lot of optimism will surround the club even more despite the fact that there was a very very good activity uh, in the transfer window so all we're trying to say is that Leeds United also made most of their strengths the Elland Road is a very good stadium they enjoy playing there struggled there a while for some time last season due to several other reasons but uh, every other team knows going to Elan Road with the fans, with the stadium is always a huge task. They made most of the stadium and used it to their strength. So look at yourself, look inward, there's a strength God Almighty has given to you. He didn't make you to fill up the numbers on the earth. There is a purpose he has for you and there's a strength, there's an ability he has given you, there is an equipping within you to make sure that very goal, that very target is attained. That's it on Spot Vibes on DNT Walk for this week. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for not despising us. Thank you so much for being consistent in joining this channel weekly. Bye for now. Thank you so much for watching Sport Vibes on DNT Walk. If you enjoyed the video, ensure you subscribe, like, and share the video. Thank you.